Hello, my name is Josh from joshesfrogs.com. I want to talk a little bit about raising dart frog tadpoles. Uh, right here in front of me is a plant called a bromeliad. And in the wild, there are some uh, poison dart frogs that will lay their eggs in here um, and lay them on the leaves, and then when they hatch out, they'll fall into the center, which holds water. And these are pretty common on the dart frog industry, people using them in their tanks. And most dart frogs that we keep in captivity will utilize these to breed in. The problem is that when they um, breed in these, all the tadpoles go into the um, water hole, so you can't take them out, and you run the risk of them eating their brothers and sisters. So if you want to get maximum production out of your dart frogs, you're going to need um, to get your frogs to lay in other spots. And the best way to do that is to remove all bromeliads from your tank and use either film canisters with suction cups and the cool thing about these suction cups as opposed to many of the other um, film canisters with suction cups on the market today is that this has a thick head which means that the um, film canister won't twist on the suction cup so when you put it at a 45 degree angle it's going to stay at a 45 degree angle inside your terrarium and then a petri dish underneath of it and the frogs will lay right on that petri dish the uh, film canisters are great for thumbnail sized frogs, um, and the cocoa hot with the petri dish works for um, some of the larger frogs, like the Tinctorius, the Aratus, or the Leucomelus. Now, when your frog lays eggs, they will look like this. Um, right here in a petri dish, we have some um, eggs from Amazonicus, and uh, those guys laid in a film canister. And what we did is we um, take the eggs right out of the film canister, put them in a petri dish. Then we take one of the uh, 24 ounce GLAD containers, put down some paper towel uh, down the bottom, soak that so that it has um, some moisture in that. Then put the container, the petri dish, right back in there. No need to put the top on the petri dish. It'll be fine like that. Then we write what kind of species it is and put the lid on it. Then um, right here we have some other eggs that are older. You can start to see the tadpole forming um, right there in the egg. And then here's that same species a little bit later. You can see um, the tadpoles are nearly fully developed, and you can even see one's coming out of his egg. And you can tell when they come out of the egg because the, um, the tadpole actually be curved like a C shape, and then when it breaks through the egg, it will actually be straight again. Now, when you have a tadpole that's hatched out, this is how we take care of our tads. First off, we take some Indian almond leaves, break off a part, like yay big, throw that in there. And then we also take some java moss, break off a little clump. And remember the java moss is going to be growing in the tadpole container, so you don't need much in there um, or else you'd be overrun. Then you add some reverse osmosis water. Um, we highly recommend using straight reverse osmosis water, no RO right or anything like that. Um, Add that to the container. We fill it up half full. Then you use a turkey baster right here to suck out that tadpole. So you suck him out. Okay. And then we put him right in here in the tadpole cup. Then we take a marker and write on the side of the cup what species it is. And this is a Brazilian yellow head. So we'll mark that BY. H. Now, tadpoles can take two to three months depending on your water temperature and what you're feeding. At Josh's Frogs, we feed um, a mixture of a couple of things. First off, the staple is the tadpole bites. And what we'll do is we'll take the tadpole bites out, take about half of them out, and then we add ceramicrin to it. Which is a powder and that'll stick really readily to the tadpole bites. So you add the ceramicrin to the tadpole bites, shake it up, and then we here at Josh's Frogs feed our tadpoles once a week and they get between four and eight tadpole bites depending on how big um, the tadpole is. Right here I've got some Azurius um, tadpoles. Um, the first one this guy just hatched out yesterday and one of the interesting things about dart frog tadpoles is that when they first hatch out they play dead. So you'll think the tadpole is dead but that's just a defense mechanism so they don't get eaten. So this guy won't move around at all. Even if you tap it, mess with him, he, he's going to act like he's dead anyways. 
Then the tadpoles start to get bigger. And then they finally sprout their back legs. This guy's got his back legs. And then when their front legs pop out, we move them to our tadpole uh, morphing rack. What we do is we empty out all the water, then we fill it back up with fresh RO water, and then we put the lid on so they can't crawl out the cup, and then we position them on the rack so that it's at an angle, so the cup fits right in the, the wire rack like that. And then we know that he is ready to come out of the water when he climbs up on the side of that. Uh, that's one of the ways that we check um, to um, make sure that none of our frogs are, are morphing out with SLS because there's varying degrees of SLS. So we feel if they're able to crawl out um, of their own free will on the side of the cup um, and are able to push themselves out of, like that, then we are pretty confident that they're um, a frog that, that deserves um, to be somebody else's pet. So um, when they're on here, as soon as they morph out, um, as soon as they come out on the water, we move them to a 190 ounce container. And this one's already got some frogs in it. We take the 190 ounce container, uh, use sphagnum moss, which uh, this is a compressed brick. This brick is enough um, to do about 10 190 ounce containers. Then we add some leaf litter, um, some of the Indian almond leaves or some of the magnolia leaves. And then we add um, a cutting of a plant. We usually lose a lot of pothos or a lot of wandering dew um, in there. And we usually do frogs in pairs um, in, the, in the container. Some of the thumbnails can go quite a long time in there. Some of the bigger frogs, you're going to need to move them to something bigger when they're a few months old um, or else that gets a little bit cramped for them. Uh, make sure you write on the top of the container what kind of frog it is and the date that they came out of the water um, so you have a reference for how old they are later on. Um, and that's pretty much it for raising tadpoles. If you have any questions, visit us at joshesfrogs.com or email us at info at joshesfrogs.com or call us at the 1-800 number at the bottom of the screen.